today we are heading to Germany, to Holstein Kiel, who have been recently promoted for the very first time to the Bundesliga. It is our target not only to make them survive the Bundesliga in the first couple of seasons, but to build them up into not only the best club in Germany, but the best team in Europe. Having a look at this side here, I mean, once again, as in the last rebuild as well, we have a 5 at the back, which I don't really appreciate. And looking at the squad, I have I see Louis Solpi, a very well-known German player. Jan Fita Arbon de Benja, former wonder kid of FIFA. But I really don't like the formation and I'm not confident in the ratings either because, I mean, with a 67 rated midfielder, a 69 rated striker, a 65 rated centre back, I'm not sure if we can survive. We have to do our best in the market. However, that is where the main rule of this rebuild kicks in, as we are only allowed in this rebuild to buy German players. We can't go in for any international ones. Only German players are allowed to be bought. We are maybe the biggest underdog in the Bundesliga and that's why I've set a tactical preset of counter-attack. We have three players in our default uh, youth academy and we can use the youth academy but we can only buy or promote, should I rather say, German players. So all of those three are Belgium. They are all going to get released. But we can, of course, Set, send the scout to Germany and that's what I'm going to do as well. We have one default four star two star scout, not the br greatest of scouts, but I'm going to send him to Germany for three months to find us uh, some talents, I would say, up top on the wings because we actually don't have any wingers and I want to see if we can get some uh, in this youth intake. That brings us to our budget, where after spending 2 million on extending contracts and hiring some coaches, we only have about 6 million left. So 6 million to go in for, and for of course, German players. And we have 3 transfers per season. I have decided to uh, fit the formation so that we play in a 4-3-3, still a deep-lying, two deep-lying uh, midfielders in Gigovic, Ivesic, but we have fullbacks and wingers, that's the most important thing here. I found a very interesting player here to start off this rebuild with. A German cam, of course. He's German, that's for sure. But we may need to accommodate the system once more. This guy had to fit in. Coming in from Hoffenheim, it is Umu Tohumshu for 3.3 million. To get in a few funds, we've sold the whole list of players. Marvin Schulz go out for 1.4 million. Thomas Dehner for 900k. Engelhaag for 360. Skrzybski, I don't even know if that's right, how you con how you pronounce it. But he goes out to Werder Bremen for 2.3. And Karl Johansson goes out to Nuremberg, as well as Geschwil, who goes on alone. Meaning that we are back up to 10 million in our current budget. Well, the first player we go in for with these 10 million is a very cheap one, actually. A project, rather, for the future. A left back, 18, 63 overall. From Borussia Dortmund, it is Almuguera Kabar joining the club for 1 million on the dot. Our final signing for season 1 is the biggest one so far. He's 28, the former Borussia Dortmund player. 76 rated, he will slot in right in that midfield. By the name of Mahmoud Tahu joining us here, the German, 6.5 million from Frankfurt. I've also decided once again to switch up the formation so that we can accommodate both Tahu and Tohumchu in that midfield. We give Kabard the starting spot, even though he's 7 lower rated than our current uh, starter there. We have still managed to sell Orel Vagbe to Cluj for 620k, Benedikt Pichler to Werder Bremen, again a player to Bremen for 2 million, Nikolai Remberg for 3 million to Copenhagen. Those are the Season 1 is done and dusted, and we have been relegated, guys. We have been relegated on 25 points after 34 games. We didn't make it into the relegation playoffs, 3 points above us in San Pauli. Leipzig win the DFB Pokal over FC Köln. Well, we have actually made it into the semi-finals here. How is that even possible? We got knocked out by Köln on penalties. We are looking at 10 goals by Tohumchu as our top scorer. 9 by Bernardson, 8 by Jan Fitarb and 7 by Machino. I mean, 
Six assists for Dawood is the best as well. But these stats are not brilliant. I mean, no wonder these players are not happy at all. They have been relegated. Kaba hasn't really developed as nicely as I would have liked him to. Tomchu is up to a 72. Machino Knudsen 71 and Porad as well. The goalkeeper Vaina is not too bad. He's 26-74. But otherwise, there are a lot of weak points now. Holpi is, of course, decreasing. He's back down to a 69, so we need to replace him ASAP. I mean, it was never going to be easy to stay in the division. We haven't done it. We haven't stayed up. But let's try to look at the positives. Next season, we are going to have uh, to reset completely from zero. And maybe we can rise from the ashes. Let's just wait and see. We sign a new goalkeeper to start off the second season. He's already 32. We didn't have a second goalkeeper. And so we've swooped in for probably our new starter. From Manchester City, he should help us to get promoted right away. It is Stefan Ortega coming in for 10 million. Bringing in yet another player from the Premier League. From Brentford this time. A new winger has our former winger has submitted a transfer request. He's only 23, this Kevin Schade coming in for 6 million on the dot. We had about 20 million to go in for new players, so that's what we've done. And the third and final player we go in for is a new striker, a man for present and future, coming in once again from England. Our new striker, Nicolo Tresoldi, coming in for 6.2 million to wrap up this season's transfer window. We've also made a whole list of sales once again. Colin Kleinebeckel goes to Köln for 2 million. Jonas Sterner to Basakshe for 3, Anduke Lati to Karlsruhe for 1.8, Niehoff for 2 million to Wesker in Spain, Finn Porat, the winger I told you wanted to leave the club for 2.1 million to Heidenheim, and Dominik Javercek to Samsung Sport in Turkey for 1.8 million. Which means that this is our squad going into the second season, in the second Bundesliga, our first season in the second Bundesliga. I hope that we can at least fight to get immediately promoted again with the likes of Ortega with 32-81, Dahoud of course from last season, Tomshu as well, and then the two new players, Tresoldi and Schade. Tresoldi goes up front, he's 20-73, Schade with this Premier League experience, he goes on the right wing. Just to update you on our youth, I have found two goalkeepers, 187-93 potential and 185-91. I'm gonna harness them, let them hear and then at one point when they are developed nicely, then I'm gonna promote Season them. Season 2 is over and once again we go up alongside Hertha BSC who are the champions of the second Bundesliga. We go up as second place team, one point behind them. We nearly won the DFP Pokal as well. Just about losing out on penalties to RB Leipzig. I mean, that was so, so close. We are looking at 32 goals for our new striker Tresoldi, 31 for Schade. Those two are new players from this season. They absolutely dominated Bernhardsson the next best with 13 goals. What matters to me the most in these first seasons is of course the growth on the players and as you can see there are there is some kind of growth especially on the likes of Tohumchu, Tresoldi, Schade, even Knudsen. Kaba is uh, going up but slowly but surely. I, I, I'm not so sure if we can take him all the way, but oh well, Puhaj is still 7 higher rated, he's developed nicely, so I think I'm gonna put him here, he's also only 27. We've had a very good season, a comeback to the Bundesliga is on the cards, and certainly going into the final of the DFB Pokal was absolutely phenomenal. Let's see what we can create in Season 3. Upon our return on the Bundesliga, we snap up a center midfielder from SC Freiburg. Just to strengthen the middle of the park. By the name of Robert Wagner coming in for 11.5 million. We had around 23 this season. Our second signing of season 3 is bringing a German centre back into Kiel. He's very talented. He's 23 at this moment in time. Around 73 overall. By the name of Bright Akfu RAMB. I'm sorry if I butchered his name. But he comes in for 6.8 million from Braga. To get in some more money, we've then sold three players in Machino to Hamburg for 3.5, Filares to Hull City for 3.3, and Marco Comenda, a rotational centre-back, to Hertha BSC Berlin for 1.5 million. With 11 million in the bank, we can make one si final signing for Season 3, I believe. Finally, we've gone in for with our last signing of Season 3 for a proper left-winger in Justin Deal coming in for 6 million from VfB Stuttgart. 
Looking at the new players here, RIMB 2373 overall, Robert Wagner, the German 2375 center midfielder, and Justin Deal, a 21 year old, big talent, 72 overall already. Finally, we don't need to play Knudsen out of position anymore in that left wing spot. Also got a very exciting prospect in the youth academy, Christopher Hoffmann, a cam, who will get promoted to the senior team. And that is actually this season we finished in 16th place on 33 points in the relegation playoffs on same points that Wolfsburg, one point behind Gladbach. It was very close, but in the end we didn't manage to stay up automatically. We did, however, win the relegation playoffs against FC Köln. We uh, lost the second leg 1-0, but we must have won the first one 2-0, so we stay up by the skin of our teeth as well. Stuttgart win the DFB Pokal over Leverkusen. We have been knocked out once again. Very good cup run. We've been knocked out in the semi-finals by Leverkusen. Justin Deal has been the real deal. 18 goals for him, 15 for Schade, 14 for Tresoldi. That's the great front three we've got. Still, I can't really figure out how with this team, maybe it was the defense. Becker, Ivesic, Puasch are maybe not high rated enough. Because the front three as well as the midfield are great. And the goalkeeper, Ortega, still at 82. I mean, this is a very difficult rebuild. In the three seasons we've been here, we... Really couldn't do well in the Bundesliga. Twice we finished in 16th or 17th. Hopefully next season we can do better and come away from those relegation threats. Season 4 is here and we go in as our first signing for a new right back from the free agency list. As we've swooped in for Kilian Fischer. Zero euros, only the wage we had to cover. He's 26, 77 overall. The next man coming into the club is from Manchester United in this save. His contract was expiring. He's already 33, but a big, big upgrade on our current centre-backs. The former Borussia Dortmund centre-back, Matthias Ginter, joining us for 11.9 million. We have sold some players. It is Timon Weiner, our backup goalkeeper, who wanted to leave the club. He's gone to Cagliari. Max Geschwil has gone as well to Levante for 2.7 million, the backup centre-back. We are once again without a backup goalkeeper, and we have about 16 million to change that. The backup goalkeeper we sign comes from SC Freiburg, another German club for a German goalkeeper. He will certainly take over from Stefan Ortega once this guy retires or decreases, is it? It is Noah Atubolu coming in from Ude Almeria for 16.5 million. With the additions of both Ginter and Fischer, this back four is looking a lot better. Puaj is still there. Kabak has returned from loan. He might uh, step into that team. He's only 21, 71 overall. He has developed on his loan. Atu Bolu goes into that uh, rotational goalkeeper or backup goalkeeping spot on the bench. And I do hope that we can make progress this season in terms of rating and on, in terms of... Season done and dusted. And that is what I call improvement. Eighth place... 50 points, Leipzig are the champions out of Bayern, but we are nowhere near the relegation zone. Howdy guys, we've won the DFB Pokal, how is that even possible? A second time we go into the final and this time we do defeat Borussia Dortmund of all teams. The team is looking absolutely phenomenal as well, look at that front three, Deal has absolutely shown into the air, he's risen into the air. Tresoldi up to an 83, Schade 84, Tohumchu at an 82, we have Wagner and Daoud 79-78, even our defense is looking better and better, Kabar is there, because I think our left back of the former left back has been sold because of his release clause. And there you have it boys, Timoteusz Butchak had been sold to Leeds United for 8 million. However, looking at those stats, and Justin Deal has done a phenomenal job alongside Tresoldi and Chade. Once again, the front three delivering. 18 for Deal, 16 for Tresoldi, and 13 for Chade, with 15 assists for Tohumchu as well, from Cap. That was it for season number four. By a country mile, the most successful so far. Eight win the Bundesliga, and winner of the DFB Pokal. Couldn't have come a lot better. Let's see if we can continue our rise to the top. Season 5 starts and we bring in a new free agent centre back as a backup. He must be a regen of somebody, it is Lasse Schäfer coming into Holstein Kiel for 0 euros. We finally got our new left back into the club from Borussia Dortmund. 
Actually, he didn't play at Dortmund in this save. It is Tom Rote from Arsenal for 22 million. He's 21 years of age. In real life, he plays in Dortmund. Our final signing of Season 5 is going to be a German national player in real life. He's already 30 in this save and playing in Spain. It is Chris Furis joining us from Girona for 17 million, the last money we had in our bank. Also, something we need to address next season is that Mahmoud Tahoud is going to retire at the end of the season. Maybe Youth Academy player Hoffman can fill in his shoes, but I'm not so sure yet. What we've certainly done this season is improving the left back spot. Rote is 23, 80 overall. Then we have Furich on the bench. He's the left midfielder. A um, backup to both Deal and Chad. Uh, we needed that because Bernardson was the next best. And we didn't have a lot of depth there. And then Schaefer finally giving us a little bit more depth at centre back. He's 20, 73. A lot of talent. First game of the season in the DFL Super Cup. The German Super Cup. We of course have been the cup winner. So let's hit the ground running here. At the Volkswagen Arena in Wolfsburg. And it's a 2-0 win. It's another trophy against the Bundesliga champions Leipzig. That's a brilliant start. Five is done and dusted. And we are in fifth place. That is a great season. Fifth place, we will play European football next season. Europa League, presumably. What a season that was. This season, Leipzig win the DFB Pokal over Dortmund. We have been knocked out in the semi-finals by RB Leipzig. Let's have a first look at the Champions League. Arsenal win that over Bayern Munich. The Conference League goes to Aston Villa over AZ Alkmaar. And lads, we've actually been in the Europa League. It is no surprise because even though we finished 8th, we won the cup. So uh, I forgot that. Chelsea topped the league stage group. We were in 14th spot in the league phase. Which meant that we went to the playoff where we absolutely destroyed Besiktas. Round of 16. We even overcame Monaco. That is great. Quarters. We overcame Rennes 4-1. And in the semis, we even beat Shakhtar Donetsk 3-2 on aggregate. Which means that we will face PSV. Who we beat on penalties again. I mean, absolutely brilliant. Fantastic. Our first uh, European title of this rebuild. It's the Europa League. And which means that we will play Champions League football in Season 6. Great. Schade has done an incredible job. He's up to an 89 at 27 years of age. Deal is up to an 86 even. Tresoldi 87. Tohumchu 85. 10 goals for him. 23 for Tresoldi. 27 for Deal. And 36 goals with 10 assists for Schade. Of course we will need to replace Dahoud in midfield next season. Ortega is also going down. But we have Atubolu who is there to step in. Another brilliant season here with Holstein Kiel. Fifth in the Bundesliga. We are working our way up more and more. Winner of the Super Cup. Semi-finalist of the DFB Pokal. And winner of the Europa League. The biggest one of them all. So guys, something really tragic happened. Somehow, Umu Tohumchu has joined West Ham as soon as the transfer window opened. So I couldn't do anything about this. Didn't realize it until it was too late. And his market value is 120 million. And now... Let's just hold on for a second. Because we've only got 60 million in the budget, I presume. I do presume that he's gone on a free transfer, so I haven't paid attention to that. Somehow, I don't know how, because either he had a release clause or he has gone on a free transfer, which in both cases is tragic, but in the free transfer case would be even more tragic. So 60 million to spend also on a cam now. The first player we sign in Season 6, of course, a replacement for Tohumshu. Not as good as him, but still a lot of room to grow and already at a good overall. It is the former Hoffenheim player Tom Bischoff coming in for 40 million from LOSC Lille. But we seem to have found there is a replacement for Mahmoud Dahoud, who has of course retired. And that was a position I absolutely needed to strengthen. The 24-year-old Laurin Ulrich comes in from Lens for 9 million. This is how we are looking like for Season 6 with Bischoff in that camp spot, Ulrich in that CM spot. We haven't really improved anything else. Would have liked to improve the defense because Ginter is going down more and more. We set Ortega, of course, on the bench. 
Bernardson goes on there as well. Let's see how this season goes in, of course, the UEFA Champions League. First off, we play a first game of the season. The opener in the UEFA Super Cup. The winners of the Europa League against the Champions League winners of Arsenal. Let's see how this first game goes. It's a 3-1 loss. Saka with a brace and Garcia with a goal. Our goal was scored by Schade, but that was just not enough. Arsenal win the UEFA. point of season 6 and we are not in a good position. Absolutely not. We are in 9th place. 24 points after 19 games. And in the Champions League, we finish in 29th. Which means that we don't even go to the playoffs. We have absolutely destroyed all our chances of going through here. 29, 7 points in 8 games. That is definitely not enough. 2 wins, yeah. 1 draw. This five season, points. we couldn't really rescue it. We couldn't turn it around. 8th place is a little bit terrible. I'm not gonna lie. 51 points. Bayer Leverkusen win the DFP Pokal over Frankfurt. We have been knocked out by 1860 1860 Munich, 3-1 in the round two. That was terrible as well. Real Madrid went on to win the Champions League. Club Bruges won the Europa League over Inter. And Fiorentina won the Conference League over Fulham. The front three is looking absolutely fire. The midfield, Ulrich hasn't really developed. That's a bit worrying. Wagner is at an 82, Bischof 83. Inter has gone down to a 74. He needs to get re replaced ASAP. 23 goals for Schade is good. 16 for Deal, but only 10 goals for Tresoldi. That is underwhelming, absolutely. I'm not going to lie, I'm disappointed by this season. 8th place in the Bundesliga, clear step back. Round 2 in the Pokal and, of course, 29th in the Champions League. That is not good enough. Our first signing of this season is for a new centre defensive midfielder. From Bayern Munich he comes in. It is Leo Müller, a region, joining us for 27.4 million. You have made some business out. Chris Führig at 32 wanted to leave the club. He's gone to Mainz for 12.9 million. Magnus Knudsen has gone to Augsburg for 16 million. Which means that we have still got 33 million in our budget to go in for one or two players. But presumably only one now. We make one big move here for centre-back. He was 29, his contract was expiring. From RC Strasbourg, he comes over for 24 million to kill. Jan Aurel Bissek, 82 rated at 29 years of age. With the arrival of Bissek, this defence looks much better now. I mean, there are not a lot of players, only one in fact who is not in their 80s, so... Müller goes into that midfield at 80 overall as well. An upgrade on Ulrich. On deadline day then, we sell Lasse Schäfer for 7.2 million to Augsburg. Final signing of season number 7 is a new left midfielder. As of course we have lost Chris Führig. This one is a younger one. With our last scraps of money as well, it is Aaron Zentner coming into the club from Watford for 12.5 million to give us backup. Centner goes on the bench, he's 25-77 overall. Our bench is looking better now. I mean, Ulrich is there as well. Ivesic is the center back on the bench. Bisek is in the starting 11, of course, alongside Müller. Schade yes, and yes, Diaz. Yes. Season 7 is a success. Top 4 in the Bundesliga. Bayern are the champions, but we are in 4th position, 61 points. Dortmund win the DFP Pokal over Wolfsburg. And we've made it into the semi-finals, just about got knocked out by Wolfsburg. We were in the Conference League somehow, as we finished 8th last season. I didn't know that that gets you Conference League, but we made a fantastic group stage. Six wins out of six, even ahead of Manchester United. Didn't go through the playoff round. In the round of 16, we beat Bodo Glimt. But we lost on penalties to Valencia. That is unlucky. Justin Deal has done really well. 26 goals for him, 5 assists. 21 goals for Schade. Even 16 this time for Tresoldi. Better. 10 goals, 12 assists for Bischoff is great as well. He's up to an 86. After one season out, we are back in the Champions League. And that's how the team is looking. Fischer is still the weakest link. Müller at 81 hasn't really grown much, but... I mean, the team otherwise, Atubolu had an 81 as well. Maybe a new right back. 
And then we are good to go, actually, in the Champions League as well. Season 7 was not bad at all. I'm really excited to see if in Season 8 we can finally do better than 29th in the league phase of the Champions League, though. We finally upgrade that right-back spot in Season number 8. A 23-year-old, 83-rated player comes into the club. Of course, now that we are Champions League club, we got a little bit more money. For 48 million it is, Otto Schmidt coming in. And second and finally, we upgrade our backup striker. Jan Fita Arp has run his course, he's done a good job. But now it is time for him to be replaced by a 23-year-old Moritz Kraft, 80 overall. He comes in from Borussia Dortmund for 19 million plus Fita Arp who has gone the other way at 31. Ortega has retired, our youth academy player, goalkeeper Han is now there, 22, 78 overall. Hoffman also returned from his loan, he's 22-79. Our bench is looking, is looking in better shape now, of course. With the arrivals of, uh, where is he? Kraft, 23-80 overall. And then Hahn and Hoffman who returned from loan again. I mean, with of course the additions as well of Schmidt, 23-83. The start 11 is now 80 plus in every single position. I am the stage of season 8 and we are in 3rd place in the Bundesliga, that's what I like to see. 8 points behind Leverkusen, 1 ahead of, Le of Frankfurt, 2 ahead of Leipzig, but very good spot so far. And we have scraped through in the Champions League as well in 20th place, this time we qualify for the playoff rounds. I mean it doesn't really count towards anything, but just look at the improvement on Omutu Humchu, I mean... With him, with him, I'm sure we could have been in, uh, like, the latter stages of the Champions League already. He's Our playoff round has been determined. We will play Fenerbahce at home first leg. Let's see how this goes. Can we get a first win? Yes, it's a 1-0 win. Kraft, our backup striker, with the goal. Second leg away from home. Can we pull through at the Sucre Saragoclu Stadium? That is the question. Yes, it's a 3-1 win. Deal with a brace and Shada with a third goal. 4-1 on aggregate. We are off to the round of 16. And of course, in the round of 16, we had to face Real Madrid. Wouldn't be a Champions League run without facing them. It's at home and we get a win. Deal and Tres Soldi give us the win. Unexpected against the Kings of Europe. Can we survive the second leg at the Estadio Santiago Bernabeu? One goal cushion and it's a 2 all draw, which means we are through. Bischoff with a brace saves us. 4-3 on aggregate. We defeat the Kings of Europe. We are off to the quarterfinals where we face Bayer Leverkusen at the Bayer Arena first. Our German counterparts. Let's see how this goes. It's a 2 all draw for the first leg. Trezoldi and Deal both times give us the equalizer. Here we are then for the second leg of the quarterfinals at the Holstein Stadium. With a full strength starting 11 facing Leverkusen. And it's a 3-2 win on penalties. 2 all after 120 minutes. Let's see who scored the goals for us. Schade and Bischoff. Wirtz gave them one back. It went to penalties all the way. Where Jung missed. Bischoff, uh, Schade, Tresoldi scored. Deal missed as well. Yeah, but they missed three penalties. And so we go through to the semi-finals of the Champions League. We travel to Italy, guys. For the semi-finals of the Champions League. Juventus Stadium. Away leg first against the UV. And it's a 3 1 win. Shada with a brace and Tres Soldi scores. Hendrik gave them the lead, but yeah, we absolutely crushed them. And we are one step away from a maiden Champions League final. Question now is can we make that final step to the final of the Champions League in Holstein Stadium? It's a 2 1 loss, but it's a 4 3 win on aggregate. Hendrik and Barrios with their goals. Tresoldi scored the equalizer in the 33rd. We lose to one, but we win 4-3 on aggregate. Off to the Champions End of the Bundesliga League. season. Once again, we finish in fourth place. We mounted a title challenge in the end. Only three points of Leverkusen. Who are in first? Who are the champions? We lose the DFB Pokal final. That's not a good omen for the Champions League final. But once again, we make it into the final. That's the positive thing we can take out of this. The Europa League goes to Marseille over Chelsea. And finally, the Conference League goes to Brighton here in Season 8 against Lille. 
I mean, we've been brilliant this season. 29 goals for Shada, 27 for Deal. 14, a bit underwhelming from Tresoldi, but 13 goals for Bishop, who is up to an 88. Crazy. And this is our team going into that Champions League final. I mean, it's a very good team. The lowest rated players are RMB, Atubolu and Müller in midfield. Otherwise, all the others are above at least the overall of 84. We will face Paris Saint-Germain in the final with Lamine Yamal on the wing. Colo Muani up top, Davies on the left, they have got Araujo at centre back, a very good team. This is it, Old Trafford for the big final. Holstein Kiel against PSG. Oh my god, free kick, edge of the box. It is Lamine Yama. let's take a player onto the line. It doesn't even help because the ball hits the post, but now we've got a counter attack here. Can we take advantage of it? It is Tom Rode, the left back. Can he go all the way? Ah, doesn't come through there. He also got a free kick here on the edge of the box. Somehow, the referee says that that was a foul. We've got no good free kick takers, but I try with uh, Bischoff. Let's see how this goes. Three and a half bars of power. Good ball by Bissak. Now into the open space for Deal. This is just in deal! All started with that pass from out from the back by Bissak. We play it very cool, very good here. Look at this pass from out. And then all the place in the world for Bischoff who finds deal. Who can put it into the back of the net. 1-0, Holstein Kiel. This is Kolomuani, Kolomuani. And Rote uh, with a great interception. Great play, Bischoff, we have another counter-attack, this is once again deal for Kiel. Deal for Kiel, going! Can he go all the way? It is Justin! Deal! Great save from Donnarumma! Villa, what a ball! Great piece of play, this is Tresoldi, can he turn the defender? If yes, that is a great goal! That is a brilliant, world-class work goal! What a piece of football we are playing here right now. You didn't see the build-up in this one, in those uh, highlights. But you can, could, could see it in real time. What a piece of play. It's 2-0 to Holstein Kiel. Careful PSG come. Want to get a reaction here before half-time. But we, we do well. And then the goalkeeper just about gets it away. We have kept Lamine very quiet. But here he goes. Here he goes! And Atubolu with a great save. Now we can go on a counter. This is Bischoff. They've been deadly all game long. And now Schade gets found. Schade is on, to, on, on goal here. Plays it into Tresoldi. It's 3-0. We are hammering PSG here. It's Nicolo Tresoldi with his second goal of the night. Holstein kill 3. PSG nil. They've been absolutely outcounted here. It's a great ball into Deal. Who goes into the box. Little bit of trickery. 1-2. Back into Tresoldi. And then Schade. Is that even Schade? I'm not even sure. It's 4-0. Yes, it is Kevin Schade. Kiel are absolutely hammering PSG on Legendary. It's a joy to watch. It, there was a lot of fortune in this one. I'm... Um, Giving them that, but the ball bounces off Tresoldi's left foot into the path of Schade, who makes it 4-0. This is uh, Alfonso Davies, with a lot of space on his preferred left side. Uh, crosses the ball inside, but Atubolu is there with one hand. Still Davies, though, on the ball. We do well, we defend that through Müller. Corner kick, this is uh, Lamine Yamal. They get the header, but good save Atubolu. We've made a few changes. The OG Ivesic comes in. Fischer on the right. Ulrich in midfield. Kravd at striker and Sentner at right wing for Schade. This is a counter again now. Kraft. The backup striker. Kraft finds Bischoff. This is the real chance for a fifth. Bischoff goes past Donnarumma but doesn't get the shot off. Lamine looking for options inside, looking to go all by himself, still Lamine and Atubolu. Maybe the final chance for PSG to at least get a consolation in this one, it's a cross inside and they get the goal. They had to get their goal back, 
One goal. Ronald Araujo just celebrates as if he won the Champions League. It's one goal in a 4-1 defeat. However, that should be about it. The referee blows his whistle. Holstein Kiel demolished Paris Saint-Germain in the final of this rebuild, in the final of the Champions League. 4-1, one of my most dominant performances ever in one of those Champions League finals. It has been an absolute blast to play with this Holstein Kiel team. A different rebuild, a lot of ups and downs. We have won one DFP Pokal. We've been in three finals. We've also won the Europa League. And now, of course, the UEFA Champions League, the biggest prize there is to win in club football. However, lads, if you like this video, if you enjoyed it, then please consider dropping a like on the video, subscribing to the channel, and tell me in the comments what else you'd like to see next. I'm gonna leave you alone now with the celebrations as our captain RMB will lift that Champions League trophy. Have a wonderful rest of your day. It's been Rebuild Sombrero. I'm out!